You want to hear what a Pro Gator input shaft bearing sounds like when it's going out. You release the clutch. Mash the clutch in. Let out the clutch. In. Out. Out. We're back at it on the 2020 Pro Gator. I'm gonna pull this transmission apart. Go ahead, Jake. Uh, first, 14 millimeter, so we can pull the balls out of there. And we'll need a spring, or I mean a magnet, to pull the springs and the ball out. This is the detents for the transmission for all the gears, or these three screws here. here. So spring, detent ball, spring, detent ball, spring, and a detent ball. Now we can uh, remove this cover. Five screws, three of them are the same length, two of them a little bit longer. This thing has a couple dial pins that cause it to kind of stick. And there's a gasket there. There you go. We we'll pry from the other side too. Pull the balls out. So there's two more detent balls and then uh, another little round shaft that we got to get out before we can uh, pull the transmission apart. Next, we're gonna take out the strainer. Three bolts that hold it in. 12 millimeter head, eight millimeter bolt. Got some metal there. Let's see what we find on the inside. If you want to stand on the back, um, where'd that rubber hammer go that was laying here? And we'll probably need a little screwdriver. Yeah, that'll probably be enough to get in there to
quick. <laughs> it was quick, yeah. yeah well, quick. you did all the work, man. Speeds it up. So the first thing we're going to do, 14 millimeter, and take out the reverse gear. So it's a shoulder bolt with a nut on the bell housing side. in here. I always try to keep all this stuff together so I don't get confused. So after you get the reverse gear out, you can pull out this whole cluster together. And it's a little tricky, but it will come out of there. All right, so here's our input shaft. This is our bearing that was making the noise, I believe, anyway. I don't know, this one don't sound too hot either. The input shaft actually sounds okay. But we'll replace it while we're in there. This is, uh, Fifth gear and fourth gear are on this shaft. This is the reduction shaft that has reverse, first, second, and third gear on this shaft here. So two forks to shift that. feels okay. This one feels okay too. All right, so inspecting this input shaft, we had this thing apart. When does it say in Task Tracker, Jake, that we had it apart? December last year. December last year. And we replaced the input shaft bearing. This is the one that normally goes bad. But we didn't replace this bearing. Rookie mistake. Um, and this is the one that's making the noise now. So from here on out, <laughs> I'll be replacing all bearings when I pull this transmission apart. I just want to point out something here. So this is a bearing that I ordered from John Deere, John Deere part number. And it's an update because they have had so much or they've had quite a few issues out of these bearings um, on the input shaft. And so they source this bearing and I've not been able to find it anywhere else, but it has eight balls in it. And a normal 6205 bearing has nine balls. Like every one I've ever ordered 6205 bearing has nine balls. The only way I've been able to find the one with eight is from John Deere. So I do recommend ordering the one from John Deere in this situation. <laughs> it goes this way. It goes this way. All right, yay. <laughs> that makes more sense. Let's turn this this way. Oh yeah. It's tough sometimes. Gotta 
get all these kind of together. Now we gotta lift this one up so that can go under there. Get those started in the hole. Okay, once everything's lined up, it just falls right in place. Nothing to it. Easy. Easy peasy. All right, now we can clean out the crankcase and get ready to put this thing back together. So we got this bearing replaced and this bearing replaced. We didn't replace this bearing again um, or the seal, so we'll see. Stay tuned if we come back next year, we might be doing the same thing. I'm just gonna drain this thing and see what all runs out of it. bit of metal in there. Okay. So we got the transmission clay case cleaned out. Got the surfaces prepped up. Jake's putting a little RTV on here. suction screen back in there. It's sealed by an O-ring, so we don't need any kind of gasket sealing on this. This kind of sets in there. You want to help me start one of those bolts. So there's a ball that goes here. One that goes here, and then the long shaft goes there. And then we can put the cover on. And sometimes to get those to go all the way in, you might have to move these one way or another a little bit. Like this shaft here, see that slot? It needs to be right here. Yep. Do you know what those do? Shift it. No. That keeps you from going into more than one gear at a time. And then we put the cover on, but just so you see how it works. So the center shaft is not in neutral anymore, so it engages this shaft and this shaft and won't let it move. Mm -hmm. Now any of the shafts can move. If we move one of these, it pushes it over into this, so it's not gonna let this shaft move. And then it pushes that ball in the groove on this shaft so it can't move. So those balls and springs hold the shaft in the center of its travel. So 
so when you shift gears, it kind of sets where it's supposed to. Back here with the 2020A Pro Gator. This is Jake here to my left. He did all the work on this and we replaced the input shaft bearing two years in a row, December. But we got it all back together. We're going to fire it up and see what happens. Match the clutch in. Let the clutch out. Ooh, sounds exactly the same. Let's do it again. Clutch in. Clutch out. Oh yeah. Sounding good. Take her for a little test drive. Drive it like you stole it. 